what we do is we make emotional technology. We do what we call M3I squared internally. It's what we make, we manage, we move images and information. That's what we do as a company. That's what Kodak does. In fact, every one of you probably have some kind of emotional technology in your product and bringing it out. And by the way, bringing it out makes it much more powerful and much more expensive than just saying, I take pictures, or I sell printers, or I do this. And so what we do is we focus on our emotional technology and how we deliver that to our customers. And whether it's printing a brochure on a commercial press so that they can share their vision or a newspaper or a book or whatever it might be to convey ideas and knowledge, or whether it's capturing that Kodak moment. It's that emotional technology that helps us and drives us and makes things happen for us. That's what Kodak does. And that's what our value proposition is in all of our products going forward. Because we know that you just don't take pictures. You capture moments, and we're bringing that back. And yesterday I said I was criticized for bringing this back, but to me it's important because every one of you, when you take those pictures, you say you're to what? A Kodak moment. I want to capture back on that. Why? Because think about the times in which you gather your family and you put them together and you, you make them stand there and get posed and you make them take two or three pictures. Now all the guys are going like crazy, like, why are we doing this? I don't care. But the women there that are focused on it, our chief memory officer, she wants that picture. Why? Not because she wants you all to look good, because she wants to capture the feeling that's going inside of that photograph right then. That's what you're trying to capture. It's emotional technology, and we want to make sure we do it. And we know that when they, you share those pictures, or you share those moments, or you share that information, whether you share that brochure through a direct mail campaign, or hand it off in a sales presentation, or you share that picture, becomes more valuable. And that's why on all of our cameras, we're adding a thing called a share button, which we announced a couple weeks ago. It's a little button, and all you do is press it when you dock it. And it goes to your Facebook, your YouTube, your Flickr account, into the computers that you want, into any storage device you've asked it, and all of the emails that you've tagged the picture for. And automatically, when you dock it, it sends it to all those. You no more dragging, no more dropping. And by the way, you don't have to label any of your pictures anymore. Why? Because what you do is we also build in facial recognition and object recognition to our ca cameras. So we say, hey, there, that's Susan. Go find all the pictures of Susan. That's a birthday cake. Go find me all the pictures of parties. That's a freaking tree. Go find me the parks, okay? We put it into it. And that's why we put email addresses on the front of every one of our wires picture frames. So you can send an email address, whatever email address you want to make up, and you give it out to your friends so that they can email you pictures. So when you wake up in the morning, you're eating a bagel in front of the kitchen table, and there's your wireless frame, you can start to watch the photographs that have come in the night before. I do caution you, though, to be careful when giving those email addresses out to people who are going on bridal excursions in Las Vegas, okay? Just speaking from experience. And we've also put up to 5,000 photographs on that single camera because we know that the chief memory officer likes to keep all those photographs there, leaf through them, and watch them and see them and share them because you're going to see men, every single one of them. <laughs> so it's important that we know that we can share these moments because if they're not shared, they lose their power. And so we're bringing that back, and we're bringing it back with a vengeance because the real Kodak moment happens when you share. And it's our memories, and it's our, you know, that make us what we are. It defines us. It makes me feel special. And that's important for us and how we want to operate as a company. My first cat. This is me and my dad right here. She lived to be 101. I really love my little brother. We were always very close. When I think of her, I think of this cute little face that she makes when she scrunches up her nose. And then I got this invitation in the mail that reminds me exactly of that face that she makes. This is my mom. This is my dad. This is my little sister, Arti. The picture is of our uh, first date when we were 14 years old. Uh, we've been married for four years, about to start a family. I like this one because of the cake. This is a photograph of my mom and me on my first day of college. This picture has been sitting in the same frame on the same dresser for 11 years now. When I look at this, I feel like I'm still a little bit of that person. Er hat das Bild dann mit dem Krankenhaus dabei gehabt, es hat ihn die ganze Zeit über begleitet und ähm, ich glaube, dass es ihm geholfen hat, schnell wieder gesund zu werden. I could be out in the backyard playing with the kids, snap a picture, come in and send it to them. Just want to let you know what the kids are doing right now. And they love it. They feel like even though they're so far away, they're still part of our lives. They can see her grow every single day as we're sending out photos and videos and things to them. 
if I had to take one thing from my house, if my house was on fire, I would take all of my pictures. So I think when we're in first place in these bike races, it's cool and I want to remember that and I want to share that with my team, I want to share that with my family. I share over a thousand pictures on Facebook. I got a lot of comments because um, I'm the only person who caught a fish out of five guys. It just reminds me of how much fun they always had. And it's pretty meaningful to me because my mom passed away in February, so I look at it and think of her. Every time our parents took a picture, they made doubles, so we each have a copy of the picture. Yeah, it's definitely something we're going to be showing our kids someday, just to know where their parents started and how young we were and how it all worked out. This is a picture of four generations of my family. It's almost like I have my friends, my family right in front of me. It just sort of captured everything that I want to remember about that day. Oh, it just tells me that I have such a full life.